And welcome back to Newsmax Prime. We went from Black Friday to Small Business Saturday, and then just yesterday it was a record-setting Cyber Monday. Three billion dollars in sales, making it the largest online sales day ever in the United States. Well, with all these clicks come extended security risks from identity thieves and scammers. Rick Blackwell, who guest hosted last night's program, spoke with Adam Levin, a consumer advocate in the know about cybersecurity, and Adam offered some great tips on how to keep your personal information safe this holiday season. Well, the first thing is be really careful of any promotion that you see or any special deal on, on coupons. And that's because there's been so much information that's been breached over the past couple of years from retailers. And they not only got credit card information, but they got names, addresses, email addresses, and phone numbers. That you're putting yourself in harm's way in what I call the pantheon of ishings. Phishing, where it's dear customer or dear cardholder. It is spear phishing, where they'll say, dear Rick. Uh, you can get vished, which is where you get a phone message and you think it's coming from, let's say, your financial institution wanting to talk to you about problems with your credit card because of your shopping. And also smishing, where you get a text on your smartphone, which tells you to click on a link. And the only problem is these links could contain malware, which could turn your computer into a transmitter. So anytime you log in, you're sending the information to hackers. Um, or uh, the other problem is that uh, you could be taken to a link that looks like the real site for the legitimate retailer, but it's a clone site, but it looks very, very close, and you're putting in information because you think you're buying something, and actually you're selling something, which is your credit card information. A lot more problems out there than just donating to that Nigerian prince, so got to be careful. Let's talk about the legitimate sites. If you're on Target.com, Walmart.com, Costco, would you have any problems once you're on those sites? What do you need to watch out for when you're going through that checkout line? Well, the first thing you need to do if you're on the site is you have to make sure that it's really the secure site and the real site, so you put your mouse over the URL and make sure that everything looks right. You know, there are some people that may go to a site and they type in the wrong name by mistake, it's a misspelling, and there are people out there that collect misspellings for the purpose of creating clone sites. So spell it correctly, make sure you see HTTPS in the URL, make sure you see a lock, and be very careful with whatever you enter in there. And if you get contacted by any of these sites and they start asking you for more than to confirm a specific transaction, run because at that point, it's really a fishing expedition and they're looking for you. Great insight there from Mr. Levin, and always trust your instincts, too. Now it's time, by the way, for your comments via social media. Donald Trump seems to be on a lot of people's minds tonight. First, we hear from Paul, who writes us, Donald Trump is poised to win the GOP nomination and take Hillary Clinton off her feet in a historic landslide. Uh, the silent majority is very, very angry with business as usual on Capitol Hill. That certainly seems to be the case. Paul, thanks for writing in. Next, we hear from Beverly, who has some suggestions for Mr. Trump's cabinet. Should he become president? She writes, I believe that Donald Trump is the only one that can beat Hillary Clinton. Overall, I would like to see Ted Cruz as vice president, Carly Fiorina as secretary of state, and Dr. Ben Carson as the surgeon general. Interesting take there. We love hearing from you, and you can always write in to us. The best way to do that, NewsmaxTV.com slash comments. We'll try to get to those as much as we can. It's been great spending the evening with you. I'm John Bachman. We'll be back in for J.D. Hayworth tomorrow. We'll see you then.